Welcome to experiment one. In today's experiment, we will be isolating acetyl salicylic acid from aspirin tablets. Start by weighing five aspirin tablets on an analytical balance. Use a mortar and pestle to crush the aspirin tablets into a fine powder. Next, weigh a 50 milliliter beaker. Transfer as much of the crushed aspirin tablet into the beaker as you can. Reweigh the beaker with the crushed aspirin and calculate the exact mass of aspirin used. Next, obtain 7 milliliters of ethanol. Add the ethanol as well as a stir bar to the beaker with the crushed aspirin. Stir the solution and turn on the heat to get the solution to boil. If needed, add a glass cover to your beaker to prevent spillage. While the solution is stirring, set up a Bushner flask for vacuum filtration. When the solution is completely dissolved, turn off the heat and the stirring. Remove the stir bar and pour the solution into the filter, being careful not to overflow the funnel. Fill a beaker partway with ice to make an ice bath. Place the Bushner flask in the ice bath for 10 to 15 minutes.
Prepare another Bushner flask for vacuum filtration. You should start to see crystals form in the flask. Once the solution has fully crystallized, use vacuum filtration to isolate the pure acetyl salicylic acid. Rinse the flask with DI water to get all the crystals out. Wait until completely dry. Next, pre-weigh a weigh boat. Next, put the pure acetyl salicylic acid into the weigh boat. Find the mass of the pure acetyl salicylic acid and calculate percent recovery. Put a sample of the pure acetyl salicylic acid in a capillary tube. Drop the capillary tube down a graduated pipette to get the solid to fall down to the bottom of the capillary tube. Place a thermometer and your capillary tube in a melting point apparatus. Turn on the device and turn the heat up to the desired level. Use your eyepiece to view the sample and use a thermometer to keep track of the temperature. Record the temperature where the sample starts to melt and where it melts completely to determine the melting point range. That is the end of experiment one. Be sure to clean your lab station and make all necessary calculations before leaving. Thank you for watching.